Welcome to this edition of the Halcyon... Uh, no, fuck's it right at the beginning. Hello and welcome to Halcyon Blink. My name's Lauren Risey, I'm going to be your host for this episode. And on this edition, let's talk about WWE Legends of Wrestling. What do I want to talk about this one? Well, it's one of the network exclusives, if you want to call it that, that I've watched the most of. Why? Because it's one of the longest formats, it tends to have the most distinguished guests, it tends to have the most refined topics, and it tends to give you more insight into the wrestling business than any of its other uh, comparative shows. Uh, it's been running for years and years and years, albeit the last episode was probably more like five years ago now, if memory serves. So it hasn't been going for a while, and I don't think they have any plans to make another one considering the nature of the content that they produce today an hour just seems to be a lot longer than they would want. I would also say that the topics that they discuss, they discuss them in a different way than they do on the most recent editions of these shows, in the sense that they often say things in a very direct way that they end up having to edit. I know this because I've seen the original versions and the versions that are on the network have been heavily edited to the point where you can't even say ass without being bleeped. I would also say that the guests that they have on are intriguing now because unfortunately many of them are passed on. In particular Dusty Rhodes, Rowdy Roddy Piper, a few others. They have interesting interactions and they tell really great stories because they have time to flush them out and set the premise and sell people and they have people feeding in on them. Michael P.S. Hayes is a frequent contributor for the show which can be a bonus and it can be detractive in the sense that he has a very loud persona and he tends to take over the show at times but at other times he offers decent insight and, not, and funny punchlines. JR is like the resident historian, he's on most of the shows if not all of them. Uh, you also have Pat Patterson who is a creative genius as far as the wrestling, is, uh, wrestling industry is concerned he gives more of an insight in that show than anything else I've ever seen. As a wrestling uh, focused show it's, it's, it much surpasses anything else like Ride Along or, or Table 3 or anything along those lines because it actually gives you a real in-depth insight to the wrestling business from the people that were currently in it at the time that were being filmed and are still participating to some degree now. I'd give it a solid 7 to 8 because its entertainment value can be good at times. It can have some really funny stories, in particular the Worst Characters episode, where of course they're invited to tell stories about the gobbledygooker or indeed the Shockmaster, which are hilarious when regaled by the people that were responsible for it. Um, a weak episode would probably be more like a 6, but there's not too many of those. I think the original episodes are probably the weakest, where literally they're just telling you facts. It's not very engaging to watch, but then when you get to the later episodes, like with the NWO for instance, or WCW versus the, uh, sorry, the Monday Night Wars episode, I should say, with Eric Bischoff, where they go through it in, in a lot of detail, it's great and it's informative. I enjoy watching it. I learn a lot from it in terms of my love for the wrestling business and the story and the intricacies behind it. And I get to learn more about some of the contributors. So as a wrestling show, like I say, in a good in a good day, it's more like a seven or an eight. On a bad one, it's more like a six. They're all available on the WWE Network. I wouldn't ever recommend this to a non-wrestling fan if they happen to be on the network because it is solely wrestling based. There is going to be nothing here for you beyond the realm of wrestling, no pop culture references or anything like that. For a wrestling fan, though, I would say it's must watch, uh, a much must watch show because of how much. I've learned from the show in terms of anecdotal evidence that people have then gone on to quote on things like what culture like I didn't know it. And I felt, wow, I already knew this stuff, so I must be in the know to some degree. Very entertaining show and it's one I'd recommend. So thanks very much for watching this episode of Halcyon Blink. Please like, share, subscribe. Check out some of the other content creators in the description below. Follow me on Twitter. And as always, take care of yourselves and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Halcyon Blink. <laughs>